some people say breastfeeding comes easily and it's natural. Now I'll tell you with all four kids I've had, I've been amazed. The baby comes out, seems so natural. They put the baby on my chest, seems so natural. They miraculously find the nipple, amazing. They start suckling. I say to myself, I've so got this. I've got this breastfeeding thing, this is so easy. Fast forward 12 hours, I'm a weeping mess because what was easy in those first few moments for so many people then starts to become more difficult. But I wanna give you seven tips on how to succeed and get through those difficult moments. Tip number one, ask your healthcare professional if you can breastfeed right after the baby is born and they can stay on your chest, skin to skin, until they've completely finished feeding on both sides. Tip number two, Try and delay all the newborn procedures. This means ask your healthcare professional if your baby is healthy, if you can delay some of the newborn procedures like eye ointment and the shots until after you finish feeding your baby for their first breastfeed on skin to skin contact right in the delivery room. Tip number three. Now if for any reason the first two things don't happen, don't worry. Just do the first feeding as soon as they let you, and when you do it, make sure that your baby is lying skin on skin on your chest during the feeding. Tip number four, try to exclusively breastfeed for two to four weeks. Now the reason for this is it takes about that long for a newborn to really get on a good routine with breastfeeding and for both of you to be comfortable with doing it. When the baby feeds from your breast, it tells your breast they need milk, and your breasts produce milk. The more they feed, the more milk that you'll produce for them. It's a supply and demand situation. If you start using bottles and other things to feed the baby, then you're not going to have the same supply and demand. It's going to become more difficult to regulate the breastfeeding and your supply will dwindle. Having said that, if you need to use a bottle for whatever reason, whether you're extremely tired, you're having discomfort, you need to go to work, whatever the reason may be, that is fine. Just know that if you use it too often, it may make breastfeeding a little bit more difficult and your supply will dwindle. But there's ways to get it back up again by then breastfeeding more often. Now, if you're gonna just use a bottle once here or there, it's really not gonna be a problem. But for the easiest method, try to avoid any of that for the first two to four weeks so that you and your baby are completely in sync with each other. Tip number five, don't assume breastfeeding should be painful. While breastfeeding can certainly be uncomfortable in the first days as you're getting used to it, it shouldn't be really painful. And it shouldn't worsen with each feed and over time. If that's happening to you, you really do need to get help. Breastfeeding does not have to be painful. Tip number six, breast milk can take up to five days to come in. I meet a lot of people that are very frustrated in the early days and worried because they don't think their breasts are working correctly and they're not getting their breast milk. It can take up to five days for your breast milk to come in. So remember that in those early days. Tip number seven, ask for help. I can't emphasize enough that it's really important to get the help you need from a trained lactation consultant. I've needed it with every single one of my babies, even though I've breastfed before. The help is so imperative so they can point out things that are going wrong, often with the latch, before it becomes too painful for you to continue. So whether you think you're gonna have problems or not, I advise scheduling a lactation consultant to come to your hospital when the baby is born to help you before the problems arise, and then have them visit you at home afterwards to make sure it's still going okay. The support is so important, I can't emphasize it enough. So whatever you choose to do, remember breastfeeding doesn't have to be all or nothing. Do what works for you and be proud of your choice. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.